Hello, my name is Danny Seams. I'm Assistant Director of Admissions at West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine. So what you're gonna see are examples of a positive in-person interview and a uh, negative in-person. And at the end of each video, I'll point out certain aspects of the positive and the negative, um, but they'll be, they'll be fairly obvious. Uh, they'll be fairly obvious. So I hope these videos will help you increase your uh, interview skills. So the first video uh, that we're going to show is of uh, one of our current students. She's, she's actually uh, going into her second year, uh, Natalie Fabrizio, and uh, it's actually shot in our admissions office in one of our interview rooms. So um, kind of gives you an idea of uh, where the location of the uh, in-person interview will be, uh, and also the, you know, some of the, the types of questions that we'll ask. Well, Natalie, thank you for being here. We're glad you could make it. Uh, my name's Ryan. I'm Dawn. Nice to, nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too. And so we will go ahead and get started. So to begin, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm from a small town called Hampstead, New Hampshire, kind of on the Massachusetts border. I'm currently a senior at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, which is in central Massachusetts. And I'm studying biology and biotechnology. Um, I, once I graduate, I'm going to be working in a dermatology office and um, there I'm going to be working as a scribe and hopefully get some hands-on experience so that I can be ready and hit the ball rolling my first year of medical school. Um, in college, I played on the varsity softball team and I was an outfielder. Um, I was involved in my sorority, Phi Sigma Sigma, where I got to do a lot of philanthropic work with the Kids in Need Foundation, and I think that'll really carry over into my care for patients in the future. Great. Thank you. So why do you want to be a physician? Yeah, so I had asthma, or I still have asthma. Growing up, it was really bad, and it kind of interfered with soccer and basketball. So there was a time when my doctors were saying maybe we shouldn't be pushing so hard, but my family doctor worked with my parents on how to control it a lot more. That went from blowing up balloons <laughs> to strengthen my lungs to teaching my parents how to um, work my nebulizer and make sure that I was more controlled so that I could still participate in sports. And um, I was able to play um, soccer, basketball, softball my entire childhood and even playing college too. So I definitely attribute the work with my pediatrician um, to get there and all the work that she did with my parents. Even though they tried to take away like stuffed animals, um, my dog, they never did that though so that was fine. Um, but I definitely want to be the kind of doctor that she was for me that able, I was able to have a completely normal childhood and everything besides the hospital visits. <laughs> And um, yeah, I want to help people have a better quality of life. Good. Well, so now we know why you want to be a physician. So what draws you to becoming an osteopathic physician specifically? Definitely. So I did not know that I was seeing a DO um, for like a few years until I started looking into on osteopathy. And I asked him at my last physical and he told me a little bit of why he became a DO, and then I was very interested. So I reached out to another doctor in the area who owned her own practice and started shadowing her, and she truly embodied like mind, body, and spirit. Um, she talked at my church about how you need to have all of those to be the healthiest you can be. And so I went and shadowed her and to see the way that she interacted with her patients and all of like the respect that they had for her, I really wanted to embody that in my future practice. Good, thank you. So while you were shadowing a DO, were you able to witness any OMT? Yes, so I was not 100% sure um, what OMT was at first, and then when I was shadowing her, she had like 30 minute intervals where she just did OMT, and she, put my hands on hers and she was like, feel what's going on. And so I think we did something with the neck and the back 
and um, I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. So then I saw it again when I came to the open house here. Um, they did a little demo, and I was much more informed of what was happening when I was shadowing her in the clinic. Well, so it looks like you had a little trouble with your biochemistry class. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, for sure. So biochemistry is, of course, difficult. And I would say that I did not grasp the concepts as quickly as I'd hoped to, and I didn't ask for help soon enough. Whereas if I were to redo it, I would definitely contact the professor ahead of time and work on that. Um, I didn't adapt my studies during this semester, which I know probably would have helped a little sooner as soon as I got behind. But I do know that I can do it. I just need to ask for the resources a little bit sooner. Okay, so why WBSOM? Yeah, so I went to an open house, um, or I went to a medical school fair, and I talked to everyone, and I got to a booth with one of the admissions reps, and she was like, tell me what you want in a medical school, and I said, I would like to be in a beautiful area. I want to feel supported when I'm there because it's going to be super stressful, and I really want to be a part of the community. And she said, wow, and we were up in Maine. So she's like, wow, it sounds like you should um, come on down and check out our school. We're having an open house, I think it was that November. So I was like, all right, booked my flight, came down with my dad in the middle of the night. So I didn't know where I was. <laughs> and um, my dad was like doing the switchbacks. He was like, I think we're in the mountains. I was like, maybe. That's what I saw on, like, online and stuff. I'd never been to West Virginia before. And we got delayed in DC and everything on the way down. We got to the General Lewis in yeah. four hours after like we told them we were going to be there. So it was like 1.30 in the morning and they were so nice. And I was just like surprised that, I don't know, people are so nice at 1.30 in the morning when you've kept the, I don't know. So then we woke up and I saw how gorgeous Lewisburg was. I came to campus for the open house. I was super nervous. And the person, first person that shook my hand said, like, introduced himself as Dr. Nemitz. And I shook his hand and I was like, what do you do here? And he goes, oh, I'm the president. And I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then we had a wonderful conversation, but he, like, brought up that I was from New Hampshire in his talk. And I just felt very welcomed. And everyone the whole day just already I was supported. I was in a beautiful area. And the school just blew me away. And I was like, I need to come here. All right. Well, Natalie, thank you so much for being with us. You'll hear from us soon. Thank you so much. It's great you. meeting you both. Great meeting you. So this applicant, uh, she clearly exhibits some really good uh, interview skills. Uh, you know, it's very important uh, during the interview uh, that you're smiling. Uh, that's very important. Not not having a grim look on your face. She's not sitting there with her arms. Uh, crossed she's very open so that sh shows that she's very open in what she's wanting to you know the point that she's wanting to get across uh, very good description of her motivation for wanting to be a physician uh, her motivation comes from an, an internal de uh, internal desire or something that ha specifically happened to her so that's a really good genuine uh, motivation uh, for wanting to be a physician it started when she was a child and just built up as she went along um, so she seems to be very motivated and she expressed that uh, in the interview. You know, you're going to be asked the question of what do you, you know, what do you know about osteopathic medicine? Have you spent any time with a doctor of osteopathic medicine? So she was very specific in her description of shadowing uh, a DO and what she saw and what she learned. And uh, a lot of DOs, uh, some of them don't practice OMT, but if you're lucky enough to shadow a DO that does practice OMT, which is osteopathic manipulation techniques, um, uh, it's really good to be descriptive of, of what you saw and maybe what techniques uh, that the uh, physician um, exhibited. So she's very descriptive, descriptive in that, and that's very important. Uh, in the interview. It shows that you're very familiar with uh, osteopathic medicine and very familiar with the clinical setting. She's very open and descriptive about her uh, difficulties with biochem, but not just, uh, you know, she was not defensive, but she also talked about how she over 
overcame those difficulties and that's what we're wanting to know is okay you had this problem with biochemistry we see the bad grade what did you do to overcome those difficulties and she stated she clearly stated that really good description of uh, her interest in WVSOM and you're going to be asked that question why you know why did you apply to w WVSOM and she talked about coming to an open house so um, and she shows that she has, has done her research about uh, the culture of the school uh, the town of Lewisburg and that's always good uh, to know or to have you know have that knowledge before the interview know the culture of the school that you're applying to and also the area or the town that the school's located in because you know that shows that you're very interested in, a, in applying you just didn't apply to just any old school you're interested in applying to WSOM you understand the culture and what we're all about and also you know aspects of the town so very good uh, positive uh, interview obviously a very positive interview well, Natalie, thank you for being with us. Uh, we're glad you could make it. Uh, I'm Ryan. I'm Dawn. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we will go ahead and get started. And to begin, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Natalie. I'm from New Hampshire. I'm a senior at WPI, which is in Massachusetts. Why do you want to be a physician? Yeah, so my dad is a physician. He's a family practice doctor. My grandfather, um, he also was a family doctor in the area. And I just think that it's been in my genes and I wanted to carry on in their footsteps. So Natalie, what draws you specifically to osteopathic medicine? Yeah, so I've always wanted to be an OD. I've learned a lot about the holistic side of medicine and um, through my research, I know that it contains, you know, the mind, body, and the spirit. And I definitely think I embody that too. Have you ever witnessed OMT? No. So it looks like you had some trouble in your biochemistry class. Can you talk a little bit about that? Of course. Um, you know, biochem's really hard, and I just had a really awful professor. And I did go to class every day, but I couldn't understand what they were saying. And my friends weren't really helpful either. And I just kind of gave up on the class and figured I'd learn it again later down the road. Why do you want to come to WVSOM? I have always pictured myself in a town like Morgantown, and I've heard so many great things about the WVU School of Medicine that I just really saw myself here. Um, you know, I want to be a doctor in an urban area, and I think that getting an education here will really set me up for success in the future. Well, Natalie, thank you very much for being with us. We will be in touch. Thank you thank both you. so much. Now, now that you've seen uh, a, a scenario of a, a positive interview, you know, someone that exhibits positive uh, interview skills, smiling, op you know, open. Um, you know, the, the second scenario was obviously uh, not a good interview. Um, and I'll just point out some examples of what, uh, you know, of what you saw and what I saw reviewing the video. Of course, the first video, she was smiling. This video, she was, you know, not really smiling that much, not showing energy. It's very important that, you know, if you're given this opportunity uh, to have an interview here, you show some energy and some excitement for being in there. She obviously did not uh, show that. You know, she was abrupt in her uh, answers. Uh, she did not give, um, she did not, did not expound on uh, her answers as far as uh, why, she, why she wanted to uh, be a student at WSM or why she applied. They were, they were very abrupt, very short, uh, very shallow. Uh, she, t she wanted to be a physician because her father or her grandfather were physicians and that was it. 
Um, so that motivation was not as genuine, not as strong. So yeah, no energy. Uh, she referred to uh, DOs as OD, so that shows that she did not research. She does not have a lot of knowledge of osteopathic medicine. In the first video, she talked about um, witnessing OMT. Um, and the second video, she, she, did, she had not witnessed uh, OMT, and that's fine. And if you had, had not had the chance to observe uh, a physician exhibiting OMT, um, you better be ready to um, uh, talk about tenets of osteopathic medicine or be knowledgeable of the, t the four tenets of osteopathic medicine or what OMT means or what, you know, what it's all about. So even if you haven't witnessed it, uh, you know, make sure you know a little bit about uh, or a lot about osteopathic medicine. Do your research. Then, of course, when she was asked about uh, biochemistry or biochemistry struggles, um, big red flag is when you blame uh, the professor. <laughs> so she blamed the professor. It was not, uh, okay, yeah, this is something, this is a, uh, a deficit that I had, and this is what I did to overcome it. Uh, the, the, uh, her, she blamed the professor, and that's a big no-no. And then obviously at the end, uh, she referred to uh, Lewisburg as Morgantown and WVSOM as WVU uh, Medical School. So do your research, uh, know the culture of the school that you're applying to, um, and also, you know, even the area or the town that the school is located in. Uh, do your research. Make sure you're ready uh, and prepared uh, to answer that question.